I love God, children. Jesus loves you. The update on the rapture and ends of time, the calm before the storm. Japan earthquake today strikes near Kamashia. Officials tell the news that a 4.4 magnitude Japan earthquake today started just around 9.16 p.m. The quake was shallow. Reps tell the news that the quake started about 22 miles below sea level. As a result, the quake could be felt across the region and on the land to the west. Ukraine's on the brink of a civil war as Kyiv sends in troops. Ukraine is on the brink of a civil war as the government launches a uh, an anti-terrorist operation against the pro-Russian separations in the east of the country. In the first sign of fight back against militants, who have now seized the buildings in a dozen eastern cities, Kyiv dis dispatched special forces, combat aircrafts, and heavy armors to the area. With the things going on with the Middle East, with, uh, with the Russia and uh, Ukraine, and with the earthquakes going on in the world, we do not know the day and hour our Lord Jesus comes back, only the Father. Redemption is nigh. Be ready. The ends of time, calm before the storm. Let me take you to um, Psalms 107, verse 29. He maketh the storm of calm, so that the ways therefore are still. And let me take you to Revelation chapter 8. Verse 1 through 2. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of a, a half an hour. And I saw seven angels stood before God, and they were giving them seven trumpets. Okay, I believe we are in the calm of things to come. And um, when you look at a storm, like a tornado or a bad twister or some huge big storm coming, a lot of times when it's going to be a really bad storm, there's that nice quietness, very quiet, very silent. Everything's quiet, and then boom, it hits like a freight train. And also the same as a hurricane. You know, you might go through some bumps and valleys and bad things, then all of a sudden it gets all quiet in the eye of the storm of the hurricane. And then the other side is going to be bad again. The storm's coming. And um, with the hurricane, I think we kind of been going through some birth pains right now and bad things have been happening with you know these earthquakes and we were really leading up to the peace treaty you know the big things were going on and all of a sudden the peace treaty's kind of died down it's kind of quiet you know things are not really it's just things seem like the last couple of weeks kind of hit the eye of the storm and I do believe we're going to see the other side of the storm here very soon and I do believe those blood moons brought some signs um, yeah, nothing did happen on the 14th or the 15th or 16th today. We don't really know what's going to happen, but there's signs. It doesn't mean something has to happen that second. It's signs to come. You know, it's basically God saying, okay, wake up, guys. I sent you a sign. You know, signs in heaven. You know, be ready. You know, things are coming. He, didn't, he ain't going to tell you the day and hour. Only the Father knows. But he's telling us to get ready. You know, we don't know what we're getting ready for. Are we getting ready for the peace treaty? Are we getting ready for uh, tribulation? Are we going to get ready for a rapture? We do not know. Only the Father knows. So those signs are saying, be ready. You know, we're going to get out of the eye of the storm very soon. So we got to be ready. And also, if you're on this, you're just before the storm's coming, you know, it's all nice and calm. You know, that's what's coming. You know, we don't know if it's the tribulation coming. We don't know if it's a rapture, destructions. You know, it could be a war that could start leading up. You know, yesterday, the 15th, you know, we had, uh, you know, Ukraine and Russia, and you know, now they're sending troops and stuff, and it's, uh, the United States has sent their warships right back into the Black Sea. So things are starting to heat up, you know, rumor wars. So it's starting to get, you know, you know, you know, things are happening. So, you, you know, you have to be ready. You know, I believe it's very silent and calm right now. You're wondering why nothing's happening. You know, okay. Nothing, you know, no blood moons came, it's all quiet. We had to wait till the next huge event. You know, I think we're in the calm of the storm. The question is, how long is this calm gonna last? Is it just gonna be a day, maybe some hours or days, weeks, months, maybe even years? We do not know. But I believe we're in the calm, and I believe we've gotten the signs 
you know, from God, because he does say the signs of Venus, moon, the sun, and the stars. And we got those on the 15th. There are going to be three more coming up here in the next year and a half. But are we ready? You know, is Ezekiel 38, 39 going to happen? Is, um, you know, this is going to be a white war, you know, with Russia. You know, mentioned maybe invading uh, uh, Israel. Is this the plan? Is it going to be Russia and the United States fighting? Is it uh, going to set up a peace treaty? Is it going to make it go quicker and happen in May? You know, the Pope's going to come in May and Jerusalem. Is that going to be even kind of set up? Is that is he going to help with something? Or is this, there's going to be a lot of chaos going to be happening here in the next couple of months? Or in the next six months or a year? We don't know. You know, like I said, I don't set dates. I just believe something's coming. Um, only the Father can set the dates. You know, he's the only one who knows, nobody else. Um, so be ready. Like I said, it's very silent. It's very calm. And eventually, when the storm comes, the calmness, the silence will end. So give your life to Jesus and be ready. Jesus, come back very soon. Jesus loves you. God bless.